Hey everyone, this is Jesse with FarmingSeattle.com. Wanted to do a uh, update on the aquaponics bed. I'm going to be making two um, two wicking beds. Basically, the bottom layer is lava rock. I'm going to have a layer of perlite, which is right there. Uh, you can buy a big bag on Amazon for like 40 bucks. So it's going to be lava rock two inches or so of perlite and then on top of that is soil and I'm going to use just straight compost and see how that works out um, and eventually I'll move that inlet to this corner so that the water has to travel from that corner all the way to the middle to where it's draining Let's see if I can get a good picture of that it doesn't look like it but basically the water's going down that hole right there so we're gonna do that um, this is just a uh, one gallon pot I sawed the top off and then I just cut little slits in the bottom of that um, there's not a whole lot of water going through these things so I'm not too worried about them getting clogged up um, <clears throat> so I did that so now let's just get in some perlite And also with the aquaponics bed, if you can see, I have this pond liner covering all this stuff because there was and still is a ton of algae growing. So this is just to try and prevent the uh, algae from growing in there, block as much sun as I can from this system. So I'll put that back. So perlite's pretty light, um, hoping it doesn't float too far in there. And I'll just put that down. So basically it'll wick up the dirt from on top. We'll have the perlite down. It wicks up from the lava rock, creates kind of a barrier so the soil can't go past the perlite. And uh, then we'll have a nice wicking bed. I'll probably start doing sunflower seeds on here. Because um, I have a big bag of sunflowers. So if you do sunflower microgreens, they grow pretty quick and they taste good. Hopefully this stuff doesn't blow away before I get some soil on top. Uh, but yeah, so that's the process. I'm going to do that. I'll get some soil in there and then show you guys kind of what's going on. Okay, so here's part two. The entire bed is covered with the uh, perlite. I decided to just put the, uh, the intake uh, pipe right there because I didn't have time to move it. It's super windy out right now. And so all this perlite's just going everywhere. So now I'll just basically fill this to the top with uh, organic compost and uh, we'll see what happens. So it's probably another, uh, well we probably got three to four inches of soil on top of this mixture. And that's basically it. So the water just kind of seeps up from the bottom through the lava rock. Perlite stops the water and um, kind of wicks it up to the soil. Oh. And uh, kind of filters out everything. And so we'll do uh, sunflower seeds on top to start with, but you can grow lettuce and, and all that stuff. And I still have to do one more garden bed on top of that. But overall, Got some, uh, see if I can focus on that while it's blowing wind everywhere. Strawberry seeds or strawberry plants going to flower. The top bed, I had some cucumber in there, but they didn't really like it too much. Um, on the other side, we got lettuce that's growing pretty well. Got a peek in there. Got lettuce. I'll 
I'll just take it off might as well. If you can see kind of by that Swiss chard right front ahead, uh, lettuce is growing in there. This, uh, we got garlic pretty close to this bed. All the chives are growing. And these cuttings are the leaves on them. So hopefully we get some, uh, some new elderberry plants, some new blackberry plants and call it good. So uh, with all that, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll have to show when the wicking beds are up and running. Uh, hopefully we don't get too much rain because I don't know how that affects it, but once everything's up and running, we'll see how it goes.